Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Section 8 Prejudiced um, playthrough. As always, my name is Snaithy182, and this is a walk- Oops, hang on. Wait, wait. There we go. Yes. Yes. Th okay, we're on track. Good. Right mission. That would have balls us up a lot. Okay, so I'm back here on the second mission, Into the Breach, where it's mainly a sniping mission. So, yeah, let's do this. Um, in this mission, we are... Oh, wait, actually, no. I'm not going to say anything, because it will all be revealed very shortly. Bam. I love how he whispers, even though I just like parachuting in. Just like, it makes a massive noise. But, obviously, he didn't notice that. Oh, yeah. One. Wait for it. I'm sure stabbing another human is very fun and exciting. Ah, oh, damn, I can never do those. Huh. No. Nice work, sir. Well, I wish that I could have shown you the fatalities, because they are quite cool. They're kind of like um, the Halo Reach assassinations, but obviously there's less. Because, you know, this is only a um, Steam in uh, indie game. Can you call it that? Yeah. It's a very good indie game. A very good indie game. Um, I, you can't really call it that, but you know. Um, this, if you didn't know, it's a six hour, six, seven hour campaign. Um, depending on how fast you do it. Um, quite a good campaign. Uh, sorry, because I was quite loud. Basically, uh, they found this little ship department base thing. And, um, they can't. Th this right here. Blah. But they can't get it because of these places well, here, and it's sad. So, um, yeah, so they're trying to take out this radio beacon, so then, uh, like, you know, the um, rest of the place can see it. So, let's go see this. Okay, so, I don't, yeah, it's never one-shot kill. Oh, I've been spotted. Oh, oh my god, are you serious? Oh god. Okay, watch out for the amazing tree. It's invincible. Oh, fail. Oh my god, are you serious? I use the tree if. Ah! Come on! Come on! Yes! Achievement got! Managed to shoot someone through a tree. Oh, Jesus. Oh, crap. Go away. Team Fortress is a lot easier to snipe on than this game. Oh, man, I'm so used to Call of Duty. I don't know why, because I'm imagining it was right click. Come on. You know what? Come here. Come on. I know. The only bad thing about the assault rifle is that it sounds kind of underpowered. You know what I mean? Like, if you heard it, it sounds kind of like a paintball gun. Don't know if that's just me, but. In position, Matthew. In position. Just get shot. Awesome. Oh, ah, oh, missed. You shouldn't really do that since, like, the bloomy thing is kind of random at times, but you know, it's all good. Oh, there you are, you sneaky. Oh, yeah. Where are these guys? There's one more, I think. There he is. I don't think there's any way to, like, make the bloom less. I don't think that is not a You can't drag scope it, I don't think. It's just kind of random. But, like, you know, the um, rate of fire on it is kind of slow anyway. Well, obviously, it's a sniper, but I mean, you can't spam on it like um, a Juggernaut on Black Ops or the Barrett, like in MW3. So, you know, it kind of. You have to wait for it to go, otherwise, the shot will get a bit random. 
jammer for me. Oh, okay, I will do. Oh, um, anyway, uh, there was one thing I wanted to mention. In my, um, checking of the recording over, I noticed that, um, I didn't have just, like, one large file, like, one large 20-minute file. It was, um, about 10 or 11 small 5 gigabytes? I'm not sure. That might, I might have been wrong then and just screwed it. Like five something bytes. Kilobytes? Is that one? I'm not sure, sorry. But yeah, five something. Oh, Jesus. Um, and I was wondering, is there like a way to convert those 11 smaller files into like one larger file? Like, you know, it's just not, there's no problem. It's just not, it would be a bit quicker, do you know what I mean? And I don't really want to use like my 10 minutes of time to do something like that. But you know, if there's not, that's fine. Um, I have heard that if you use half screen half screen um, it will make the file size smaller so you can get more you know timing before it explodes into a shower of misery I, I have no idea what I'm on about until it you know um, has to have a new file so I'm kind of mumbling now so I don't know I wish that I hope that I'm right in saying that that you can do it on half screen but I, I think that it affects the quality if I'm right I'm not sure but I think that's what it is it does affect the quality oh Jesus ah oh, sorry I'm can being required obviously this is my first playthrough so or let's play sorry for game so I might be kind of struggling a little bit, not struggling obviously, but thinking about what to s there you are, but kind of not talking as much. I hope that you guys don't, oh, I hope you guys don't mind, yeah, yeah. but it's just me. Also, um, I might be a bit slow because as I said, uh, Xbox trying to convert to PC, uh, kind of difficult because I don't know, I, I think I think I'm definitely better because I, I kind of struggle with the mouse controls. I don't know if it's just this game or if it's just altogether like using the mouse instead of a little scroller key. But um, I have been looking into mouses to get a new one because you now I've got money to waste. So I was thinking of getting the. Oop. Affirmative, Captain. Report. We've trailed Commander Thorne to a secret outpost and knocked out their static camouflage system. Roger that. Getting our first readings now, but that is no outpost. It's an entire military base. And it spans several miles of Arctic Canyon. Looks like we're gonna need some heavy you... artillery. Hmm. I thought you were blue before. Sending in a supply depot to your location. Okay, so um, as I was saying before, I'm thinking of getting a new mouse. Um, I'm not sure which. Um, I have seen the Rat 5, which is like the... Oh, hello, Datalog. I've never seen you before. How do I do it? E? Uh, enter. Select. Ah! Alright! I never got that before. I didn't even know what that was. I think it's just kind of... Detailed information on USIF scanning techniques would be required to craft such a specific device. Apparently we're crafting something. Don't know what it is. Anyway, um, as I said, this is kind of the screen, and um, we had unlocked something in the previous episode. So let's have a look at that knife. Serrated knife. High damage. Sounds nice. Wait, sorry, that one. It, it was tools. Repair tool. Nope. Hmm, where was it? Hmm. Oh, well, well we unlocked this pack. And that is C4 for blowing crap up into the air. So let's go back here. Actually, now let's change that weapon to something more like assault rifle. Yeah. With the. Ooh, which one should I take? Automation mod. I believe that one was a good mod. And missile launcher. Because there are quite a lot of vehicles that are coming up here. For each different uh, weapon. Like, you know, they're all the same weapons, so you can't have different types of assault rifles. 
But what you can do is actually there's different mods, or not mods, sorry, there's different types, do you know what I mean? Types of things. So for example, um, like the rocket launcher, this is one for vehicles. So it has very high damage to vehicles, but very low um, for infantry. As you can see there, see it barely knocked him out. Jesus. I barely knocked him out at all. So, you know, don't use rockets. Uh, like, make sure that you use different, the same, the right, ugh! Make sure that you use the right weapon for the right thing. Do you know what I'm saying? So, like, if you want to be a vehicle, rapey, rapar, who likes to rape vehicles, then, oh, ninja. Um, these missiles are quite easy to avoid, just jump around a bit. There are some snipers in other buildings, so keep your eye out for those. Enemy like that guy. Destroyed. Um, you can kind of see them on minimap if you zoom in on them. Then you'll spot them, like in Bad Company. But you know that's fine. Oh, come on. Taking friendly fire. There you go, I think got him. Oh, Jesus. Calm down, Josh. Calm down. Oh, damn, to catch us in a oh, was that a miss? That was a miss. Fail. One more should do it. Come on. There we go. Last one, I believe. I don't think we can actually... Yeah, you need to just kind of quickly. So... Come on. Quick. 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 That's where they need to get to. Will I have enough? I'll have enough. There we go. Reload. Switch weapons. There are quite a few snipers around this area. So you may want to watch out. Oh, Jesus. So, um, yeah, I think my um, aim is getting a bit better. Also, my controls are getting a bit better. I still need to... I still need to, um, if you... To get used to... Oh, Jesus, thanks, Will. I still need to get used to a... Using the mouse and keyboard, because uh, I always keep on looking at the keyboard. Like, oh, where's the E button? Even though I already know, it's just I, I'm being a bit of a derp. Oh, that was more better. Oh. Did I get him? Oh, yeah. Problem with the dead packs is that you can't really see where you're shooting them for long range. They're very much a short range weapon. Oh, you son of a bitch. Jesus, you okay, buddy? There, definitely we're gonna miss you now. Oh, they're running away. Good. I mean, bad. I mean, oh, I don't know. Uh, you might. You also need to load up an ammo constantly, because this part is very crowded with baddies who want to shoot you. There isn't actually any recoil on the weapons. It's just in like in Halo, where you know you get bloom. And as it increases, your shots get, like, more spread out, is that the word? You know, more spread on your weapons, that's the one. Get more spread on your weapons, and sad stuff like that. And then, you know, your shot goes off. But it really doesn't really, really? Now the take care. Oh, Jesus. Bad news, Captain. Armed deep space probes just spotted our oh, fleet damn. ships on approach. You don't take any, um, damage in, sorry, any, um, damage, you know, fly damage, not fly damage, any jump damage, uh, by jumping off too far, which I quite like, like, you know, you're in a massive space suit, this is very much a entertainment game, mostly, so, oh Jesus, that's a sniper. In the top left, it shows your health. I just noticed that. Fail. We need to take out that sniper before he gets us again. 
Yeah, they don't really stray for you from shot so much these enemies, they're kind of dirt. So the AI isn't great, but can't blame them. As you saw there, there was a uh, different ranked players. So this oh sorry, different ranked people. Infantry, standard, uh, assault rifle like what I've got here. Well, more like a LMG to be honest, because it's got so much ammo. And these infantrymen carry assault rifles, nothing special about them. Then there's the Snapes, who's around here somewhere, where is he? Oh, there you are. Nope, that's an infantryman. Oh, Jesus, that guy was using a pistol. And there's one of my... There he is. Oh, I need to find a... No, that's an infantryman again. Blank much. Sorry, buddy. Oh man, I'm doing a lot better in the first time I did this. I've only got to this mission. I didn't do any more than this. I don't even think I completed this one because um, first of all, I, I kind of struggled um, getting my Windows Live set up. I don't know what it was, but I don't know if it was just me or if it was Windows Live. Like I have quite a few passwords, so I was like, huh, which one is it? But I finally found out which one, and then um. I was using a wireless internet connection because with my computer I've got that, which I quite like because um, I'm using it on my TV, my, um, you know, the computer with my TV. So, uh, yeah, I'm using it as the monitor onto my computer and also my Xbox. So when I'm doing stuff like this or hosting Minecraft server, then what I mainly do, then what I mainly do is stuff like, oh, hang on. get out of there! Get out of there, Billy! Run! Run, Jimmy! There we go. So what I mainly do is just put it, take out my Ethernet cable, lead it into my Xbox, and put it in computer. Um, because it's a lot faster. But then if I'm just doing stuff like checking um, out some forums like Yogscast or um, Battlestrats, um, that's an awesome forum, by the way. You should go check it out. Really cool, mostly for Xbox players. But you know, a few PC players, a few um, PS, PlayStation Network, PlayStation Network, is that it? Yeah, yeah, that's it, definitely. Never had a PlayStation, well, I've had a PS2, but when I decided to buy a console, I got an Xbox, because, I don't know, I, I, I don't know why I got an Xbox, I think it was mainly because it looked better, and um, more of my friends got it, and it was um, a Windows product. Well, not Windows, was it Windows? I'm pretty sure it was Windows. Or related to Windows, you know. Okay, so I'll shut up for this bit. Your incompetence is close to rendering you useless, Thorn. My men have held up our end of the agreement. I've told you over and over again. That right there is your problem. You talk too much. I suggest you lock down this facility and get to your bunker before the USIF does. And above all, keep your damn mouth shut. Whoa, who the hell is that? Definitely not Arm. Graves, you getting this? Affirmative. It's a live feed from the shipyard. Okay, so as you saw there on the um, General, screeny any things who we're dealing with. Um, that was the guy. If you didn't notice, that was the um little guy who was doing the uh little. Oh, what was it? In the first opening sketch, the guy who was was the sniper. That was the same guy at all. Um, he's a pretty mean guy. He's he doesn't really like you at all for reasons we don't yet understand. Uh, we'll find out soon or shortly. Obviously, this campaign isn't the longest of campaigns. It's enjoyable, yes. Um, mainly more of an introduction to get into the game. Do you know what I mean? Oh, balls. That's not good. Let's see how good my throwing is. Oh wow, that was kind of awesome. I think my throwing's better without using the um, little D things, you know, where you um, if you hold down, wait, I'll show you now. If you, if you hold down F, then it'll show you these. And it'll kind of show you where your stuff's going, the trajectory. Grenade. So you know, cool. Well, I grenade took a long time. Oh, um. Hmm, that was odd. I let's see if there's any secrets around here. 
restricted area oh boss enters. oh god run there we go come on matty is that his name matthew stay still yes matthews see i remember these things stop reload ammo let's do this uh this is how far i got so at the moment we're going to the shipyard oh wait sorry no uh this is after this bit this is when i stopped um i do not oh jesus i do know what happens uh as i say because i do have played it on xbox but not on the pc so i'm guessing i'll be the same since it's a port and i'll be very surprised if it isn't the same but we'll see Viva she she see um, if any of you like have any tips on how I can improve my video sound or sound or um, recording or even just me in general ninjas oh come on come on come on oh fail <laughs> or just generally my recording uh, at the moment I am using fraps with well I'm using fraps um, and audacity for the sound uh, I'm recording in full screen, uh, 30 FPS a second, I believe. I put it on the lowest because that's what Ollie's told me to do. And you know, Ollie's word goes in these kind of things because he he kind of knows about these not nerdy stuff, but he just finds it interesting. And like me, I prefer stuff more like um, graphical. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I, in our channel, I'm the one who does like the backgrounds. And good stuff like that. Whereas he's the one who mostly fiddles around with stuff like that. Like he's the one who does the Halo cinematics. Oh Jesus, what was that? Oh, he's who, who fiddles around with the Halo cinematic videos or map, um, or maps himself. Come on, come on. Probably on. I don't know. Reloading. Cover me. Huh. Let's do there. Randomly guessing. Oh, that was a good one. Oh wait, no, it won't. Forced you. I'll just shoot you out. There we go. Obviously, if you do want to take out vehicles, there are rounds for that in the these ones. You can get incinerator rounds as well, which lights your foes on fire, which is very awesome. I like that a lot. Great. I do like You're that. This? Except it's got low armor penetration. So um, it's Halo in the respects that the Imagine plasmas can do more armor damage but very low health and then the assault rifle and DMR and um, UNSF uh, USF UNFC UNFC I think um, the human weapons they do low armor damage but they do high shut up but they do high um, <laughs> health so you know it's really a matter of choice which you want to go with you're either going to go with the version where you're going to just shoot everyone's shields down and then maybe swap to your DMR which is really kind of a good idea but you know that's kind of newbie as well because the um what's it called Pla noob plasma plasma noob um I have no idea what it's called damn that shows how long I've been since I play Halo but it is it was kind of a good idea and in this game it is as well, if you go on the multiplayer, um, you can like set your setup, so let's say you can, oh that's a grenade thing, you can set up your setup so you can maybe have an LMG or something, no actually probably an assault rifle which has high, oh I need to get out of here, which has high armor damage, but then let's say low, but well, low health and then you can just switch out quick, and then switch out to an LMG or something where you have high health but low armor so that's a good tactic to use uh, might be a bit tricky to get into you know and switch your weapons constantly but it's all a matter of preference so what you could do is just get a shotgun and go with the incendiary rounds and then just light everything on fire and then hope for the best that's what I do shotgun is very good for incendiary rounds on the Xbox. I think it's quite difficult to get into the multiplayer in this. I only played one game or so and I kind of got quite annoyed with it because one I was awful like aiming where the hell did you just go? Oh there you are. I was kind of awful like aiming on it. So yeah hopefully this campaign thing will be enjoyable. You oh you can 
just press it. I didn't know that can be enjoyable for you, and it can also be enjoyable for me and make me learn more about PC games and hopefully perhaps in the same time. So if you're wondering what I'm doing at the moment is blowing this up. So there we go. So this is he's making a giant explosive bomb, which is going to possibly blow this place up. There we go. Push into the cortex, eh? Interesting. My math says if you need another ten thousand more. And then we just put in 10,000, that means we'll need to do one more before we can blow this up. And what would happen if there was more than one? Don't know why you would need two to be honest, I don't even know what this place is. Oh, that's it, it's for fuel. It seems... Why don't you just have a big petrol station? Save money. And then again, the shell would probably jack up the crisis. I keep on worrying that I'm going to run out of ammo, but then I remember that this in Battlefield, so you can just kind of spray without any consequences. I think there's usually an enemy who runs out here. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Door! Door! Fire in the hole! Come on, blow up. I have no idea what those things are. I think I struggle at close range at the moment. I mean, right? Oops, sorry. My, I oh know. I just kind of struggle then spray around. But then far away, I'm fine because you know you have more time to line your shot. And with a mouse, it's a lot easier to line it up and do that. So you're upstairs, ain't you? Yes, you are. Get me control of those cranes. I like. I'll let the other guy take care of that. Your um, other guy is kind of helpful. He can. You can kill people, or you can certainly get them down slightly like that. There we go. So, um, if you're struggling at one base, what you should do is... Excuse me. What you should do is um, stay near one of the health and ammo boxes. Because that's useful. Like, there, yeah, there, there we go. And then you can do stuff like... Oh. See? Oh, struggling, struggling, struggling. Come on. Come on, Josh. Come on, Josh. Brilliant. There we go. I've got back. Oh, crap. There's some on my right as well. Oh, Jesus. Oh, he's called Graves. Not Crunch. Uh, for this bit, I would recommend killing these guys and taking the right side where these guys are. It doesn't really matter, but there is a guy who's... Yep, they are. There are a few guys who can't come out there and want you dead for some odd reason. I'm not sure why. Oh, Jesus. EMP grenade, I believe. Reload. You get a lot of ammo in this game. I don't know if I like that or not. It kind of promotes spraying. But then again, in this game you kind of have to with my awful aim. Come on! God, if you weren't jumping up and down, this would be easy. There you go, what are you going to do now? I'm next to ammo box, Shield see? Offline. Look, ammo box, basically invincible. I would have killed him a lot easier if I wouldn't have sprayed then. Okay, so let's go up here. I think the coast is clear. You might want to get out a grenade because now there are two in here, um, which I'll probably do now. And get ready, Josh. Get ready, Josh. And boom. That was a nice grenade. Oh, hacks! It's not really. There we go. Wow, that was a lot easier. Well, let's plant our C4. Planting. I mean, explosion thing. <laughs> Your arms are really long. Jump! Oh, that reminds. Huh. There are a lot of um, 
video game cinematics, or first person shooter cinematics, where they're like that in there. Where they blow something off them and jump off the side of a cliff. Or they jump off the side of a cliff. Oh, it seems to be snowy. Don't know why, just is. Okay, so, that was the end of um, the second mission. I hope you enjoyed. And I'm getting two fraps per minute. There we go. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye.